This Volvo XC90 is the second generation version of the brand's large premium SUV and it's pitched against rivals like the Audi Q7, BMW X5 and Range Rover Sport. The XC90 has been popular for its versatile interior, huge boot and standard seven seat layout. This all new model keeps all of those characteristics but adds an extremely high quality finish and a suite of new engines to address the old car's more obvious shortcomings. All of the XC90's new engines are two litre four cylinder units. The D5 diesel offers a decent low down pull and a reasonably broad power band. The twin charged turbo and supercharger T6 needs to be worked harder because it generates its peak pulling power at high revs. The T8 adds electric assistance to the T6 and is the fastest and most powerful XC90. All XC90s come with an eight-speed automatic gearbox, which can feel a bit hesitant when you want a quick burst of acceleration. Generally though, they are quick to respond otherwise. You can either stick with the standard steel springs or spend quite a bit extra adding optional air suspension. We've tried both and think that it's worth saving the money and sticking with a standard setup. On the standard springs at low speeds, the XC90 tends to pick up on the cracks, bumps and expansion joints a little more than the best rivals. However, the ride becomes a lot smoother at higher speeds, like on the motorway for example. The air suspension is no better at low speeds, but it is smoother on the motorway. With either suspension option, it's still no match for the BMW X5 or Porsche Cayenne. But then thinking about it, it is a much bigger car. So in fairness, it does do a good job on twisty roads. There isn't much feedback through the steering wheel and the steering can feel a little off center, but enough weight builds to bring confidence in what you're doing. And there's plenty of precision to it. Both petrol and diesel engines are quieter than the rivals right across the rev range, although the diesel is a bit noisier than the petrol at higher revs. The T8 adds the option to run on electric power alone, making it the quietest XC90 of the lot at low speeds around town. Wind and road noise are well suppressed in all XC90s, so the biggest wrinkle is suspension noise, which is most notable at low speeds around town. It's better on models with smaller wheels though. Getting comfortable is an absolute doddle as all XC90s come with electric adjustment on the driver's seat as well as adjustable lumbar support. The seats also provide excellent support on the sides too. The pedals line up nicely with the steering wheel so there's no skewed driving position on long motorway journeys and the dashboard is clutter free so there's no buttons scattered all over the place. You wouldn't expect great visibility out of a car this size, but the Volvo is surprisingly easy to see out of. Thin pillars and large windows mean a largely unobstructed view, even over the shoulder. Even so, every XC90 comes equipped with rear parking sensors as standard, making it easier to navigate its large bulk into a tight parking space. You can also add a rear camera, a 360 degree camera, and a park assist pilot, as well as front sensors. Volvo's taken the unusual decision to mount the satellite navigation screen as a vertical portrait orientation rather than a landscape one. It's a huge nine inch unit, which is responsive, crisp, bright, and clear. The menus could be a little easier to navigate and some of the buttons are just a little too small to hit with confidence while you're on the move. On the whole, it's a very good system though. DAB, Bluetooth, and a voice control functionality are all standard too. Whichever version you opt for, the XC90's interior is excellent. The buttons are well damped and robust, while the lower areas of the dashboard are good quality and are made of the same plastics on any trim. The difference between the grades is seen high up on the dash and doors, where the inscription gets more stitched leather, metallic surfaces, and softer leather seats as standard. The T8 model also gets a blown glass gear lever sourced from a speciality glass maker in Sweden, which looks and feels particularly classy. Overall, even in momentum guys, the XC90 is up there with its German rivals for quality. The XC90 has a great deal of space in the front, as with many of its rivals. Even tall drivers will find there's plenty of head and legroom, and there's also a lot of shoulder room too. 
In the back, three adults will be able to sit side by side in relative comfort, and those who are sitting in the outer two seats will find there's plenty of head, leg, and shoulder room. All XC90s come with seven seats as standard, and as they are all the same design, two adults will be able to sit in the rearmost seats in relative comfort. The elevated stadium seating means that there's not much headroom, but children and teenagers will be fine on long journeys. Storage space is pretty generous too. Front occupants are treated to two large cup holders, as well as a storage bin between the front seats. The two door pockets can hold a large bottle of water and still have space for other items. The glove box is electronically opened and is large enough to store much more than just the car's manual. The rear doors have a decent sized pockets, good for medium drinks, bottles and more. All seven seats can be adjusted in some way with the three in the middle being able to be moved forwards and backwards or folded completely flat, all totally independently. While entry level momentum cars come with full electronic driver's seat adjustment, the front passenger seat gets only electric height and lumbar support. However, full electronic adjustment and memory can be added as an option. Even with all seven seats in place, there's room for a couple of large bags and with five in place, two large push chairs. A couple of sets of golf clubs or three large suitcases will fit with ease. It isn't just a large space either. It's the widest, longest boot in its class and it remains quite a square shape. So loading bulky items isn't a chore. There's no boot lip to lift heavy bags over. And if you have the air suspension, it's possible to lower the rear end. So there's less distance between the ground and the boot floor. The XC90 is competitively priced and a good deal cheaper than equivalent rivals like the BMW X5, Porsche Cayenne, Range Rover Sport and Land Rover Discovery. Running costs are a little less competitive though, with the T8 unlikely to get anywhere near its claimed astronomical mileage, though it sits in a low company car bracket and attracts no road tax. The T6 is quite thirsty on its own too. The diesel is the best bet for most. It's sensibly priced and will work out the cheapest to run for private buyers. Its four cylinder diesel is cleaner and more frugal than most of its rivals diesel units. The resale values aren't too far off the likes of established rivals from Germany, such as the BMW X5 and Audi Q7. This helps finance agreements and you can be sure to get a good proportion of your money back come sale time. That's if you buy privately. Equipment levels are impressive from the start, rendering the higher specifications somewhat moot. Momentum trim includes cruise control, automatic headlights and wipers, leather seats, rear parking sensors, sat-nav, Bluetooth, 19-inch alloy wheels, climate control, an electric driver's seat, heated front seats, a DAB radio and city braking technology. Both Volvo and the XC90 are famed for their generous safety equipment, and it's no surprise that the car scored five stars at Euro NCAP, with an incredible 97% in adult occupant safety and 100% in the safety assist category. The XC90 is now one of the very best large SUVs out there. It combines a high quality, spacious and versatile interior with loads of standard equipment and excellent driving manners. Pick the right engine and trim combination and you'll be buying one of the best SUVs, even one of the best cars on sale today. For more information, search for Volvo XC90 on whatcar.com and to keep up to date with all our latest video road tests, click subscribe.